In this video, I'd like to just give a pretty simple introduction to running some commands, a command line in uh, Linux. I'm going to use an Ubuntu virtual machine. So I'm starting up here, down at the sort of effectively the show programs or of Ubuntu, and I'm searching for terminal. And here is my command line terminal. And let me just see what's there in the first place. So I have a bunch of stuff. Um, so let me make a new directory and move into that. So I have a sort of a cleaner space. So I'm making a new directory. Uh, I'll call it, I don't know, lab one. I don't think I have anything of that name. Okay. So now I have a directory called lab one, and I'm going to move into that directory, lab one. And then I'm going to do the command ls, and I'm seeing nothing. Okay, and let me run the command clear and sort of make up some space. Okay, so I'm just, that was just to have some clean space. Okay, now let me just run some simple commands and sort of take a little bit more time and explain them. So I ran through a few things quickly there and I'll come back to them in maybe another video. Um, I want to start with some even simpler commands than what I just did. So there's a simple command date, which shows me the, the date. Okay. And um, you can see here that it does not uh, agree with the clock on my computer. Um, it thinks it's uh, earlier in the day. So it is, I think this is probably West Coast. That's probably Pacific Standard Time or something. And I'm on, I'm on the East Coast. Okay, but that's what date does. It shows you the, the date and time and some time zone information. Now I'm going to run the same command, but I'm going to sort of redirect the output into some file that I am just making up. So I'm saying today, okay. So now I ran the command, but its output, you don't see its output. Instead, its output was directed or redirected into to the uh, into this file. So one thing I can do is one of the commands I did before was ls, and now I'm doing ls again. And ls sort of lists what's in the directory. And I'm in this directory that before was empty. I created a new uh, directory and it was empty. And now there is a uh, a, a file in it. So this this uh, command here that redirected the output of date into this file will create the file if it does not exist and did not exist. And when if I just say the name of a file and don't do any with no slashes or anything else, then that file then it's implied that that file is sort of local to where I'm at to my working directory and my so my working directory is this lab one there was no file today.txt in my directory lab one and so it created it and it put the contents uh the or the output of the date file into that file and now I did an ls again and I can see there is the today command now the command, the list command, the ls command has uh, various options you can add to it. And one of them is ls minus a. And that is going to show you sort of all the things. Um, make sure nothing's hidden from you. And what it added in this case is a, a dot and a double dot. And double dot uh, directories have a, a parent child structure or a tree structure. So uh, a double dot refers to 
the parent directory of where I currently am. So that is one of the one of the things, one of the hidden things in a in a directory, in a folder, I'll sometimes call it, is this double dot that says, here is my my parent. So I can it has information about who was my parent and then I can go up to it. My parent, I started off in my home directory. And so then uh, that double dot would take me to my parent. And for my current uh, location, my parent happens to be home. Or the, the in this case, the Blum user's home. Okay. And one dot refers to sort of has information or refers to uh, where I am, the, the, the directory I am currently in. Okay, there are other options. I like to combine some options, uh, the S, the A, the I, and the L. I like it because it spells the word sale. Um, and that has like lots of information in it. So that's, uh, that's why I like it. And so here is a more extended uh, bit of information about the, that today.txt file. Um, there's some number associated with it, uh, how big it is. These are uh, permissions. So who, who can do what? Um, these, this is the user and the group that is then sort of owns and made this file. Um, this is this is sort of how big, how much space the file takes up on the system. And this is sort of how big it actually is. So it doesn't use all this, it, it doesn't take all the space and then it's given to it. Okay, and it was just made today, January 22nd, okay. So another command, if you wanna see a lot of information about a file is a stat. So I can do stat today.txt, t dot, txt and that's a it's another way to see a lot of information so we see here that the that the size again is uh this 32 and the io block is the 4096 so that is uh, a repeat the uh it's a regular file um here that that number was the inode. It's it's a number uh, that identifies the file. This is telling me that that RW stuff is are the access permissions. Uh, the user can read write, and people in the group can read write, but the rest of the world can only read this file. Um, the UID is the user ID, and this. Um, Blum is the first user, the first regular user. I mean, there's there's always users like root and what have you, some built-in users. But Blum was the first, uh, the main the main user, uh, the first main user of this uh, virtual system here. So the user ID is Blum and has a thousand, and the and there was a corresponding group ID, also Blum, also one thousand. And then normal, uh, when was the file created? When was it modified? So on that kind of information. Okay, so again, that there was, we ran a command, we directed a command into a file which created the file. We looked at the file using the ls command. We looked at the information about the file using the stat command. Now let's, uh, look at uh pat today.txt you know that's a it's a file and it's a text file and we could open it with a, a sort of a gooey text editor but this cat is a command that sort of shows us what's in the file and so what's in the file is that date and time so 336 and i rambled on for a bit so 336 is now sort of an old time and i'm going to run date again 
date uh, arrowed into today.txt and cat again. And sorry, uh, cat today.txt. And now we see that now there's one date and it is on Pacific Coast time. Uh, 343 is the time. Um, and so it overwrote the date. So this this greater than sign, I'll, I'll just call it an arrow, this sort of single arrow. Uh, when we ran date again with a single arrow, it overwrote the date that was previously in the file. But if I say date with two arrows, dot txt, and then run cat again, cat today, dot txt. Now we will see this time that there are two times in there because the, the, the double arrow means a pen. So, so that's a, so that's pretty much all I want to show for this very simple introduction. We, we typed, sometimes I'll call it that, we, we directed a, the output of a command into a text file. We used ls to see the text file. We used ls minus sale to see more information, um, but stat gave us even more information than ls minus sale. Um, we saw what was inside the file, the contents of the file by doing cat. Um, if we run the command again with a single arrow, we see, and then run cat, we see that we overwrote uh, what was there previously. But if we run the command a final time with the date command, a final time with a double arrow, pipe it into, direct it into today.txt and run cat one last time. We see this time that we appended the uh, content of the, the output of the command into the already existing file. All right, that's what I wanted to show you here in this example. Thanks for your attention.